marketers also have KPIs that they have to hit and they're different than ours. But I had at Yellow, when I worked there, I had KPIs tied to the marketing team. So I had like a quota tied to net new revenue, a quota tied to existing revenue, tied to, um, tied to marketing and then one tied to the SDR team. I had like four simultaneously and it was intense, but that was like, there were KPIs that I could easily tie back to the marketing team. So I think for them, like you could easily lead with like, these are the typical clients that I've, uh, you know, worked on. These are some of the, you know, I don't know all of their KPIs off the top of my head, but like, here's some of the conversion rates we've seen from different camp. Like you could use specific campaigns for in instance that have been successful. Um, and I would just take some of those metrics and like make that into success metrics. Cause I do think like, even though it's not sales and you don't have the same type of metrics, even my friends that are in engineering, like they have certain milestones that they have to hit. So like one of my good friends is an engineer and like, she has specific like amounts of time, like duration of time to do pro to do releases, um, or mm -hmm. a duration of time that it takes to fix bugs on average. Like there are metrics there too. So I feel like with any job, regardless what it is, like, I think it's all about doing like a studious session of like breaking down, like what are some of the things I've done? And some of that is like a good lesson in making sure you're tracking everything at all these companies and making sure you know some of these ratios off the top of your head and some of these performance metrics. Um, so like I've learned that the hard way a couple of times too, where I'm like, man, I wish... I would have written that down. That would have been a great metric to have now. So I think that, but then all of the outreach stuff, like that's not exclusive to sales. Like regardless if you're like, I have friends that are in product management and engineering and like, they're asking me to make intros for them for other companies. Like it doesn't matter that I'm in sales. So I feel like some of the other strategies we talked about having like an interview prep sheet, having, um, using video like that for like marketing is changing too, where it's getting into more of this space where, you have to be on more social. Like you look at companies like Gong and they are just like charging through this new world of marketing right now. So I do feel like some of these strategies would work really well for marketing folks as well. But yeah, I think it's just getting honest about like what some of these metrics you've had in the past look like and then how can I jot these down and have them available for these types of interviews.